Hello, welcome to Hariba Lakwa Twin channel. In this video, we'd like to share an important recommendation for Hariba Lakwa Twin electrode conditioning. The electrode conditioning consists of rehydrating the sensor to improve response time and sensor accuracy. Hariba recommends Lakwa Twin users condition sensors when the meter is used for the first time or after storage periods of two weeks or more. Sensor conditioning prevents drift issues and helps to improve precision in calibration and electrode stability. Using a meter after a storage without electrode conditioning will include drift. Drift will be observed in repeat measurements during the check control procedure with the calibration solution. The meter will display different values, usually lower than the calibration value. If the meter is drifted, it needs to be recalibrated. The drift is associated with incomplete electrode response during calibration. To condition the conductivity meter, Hariba recommends using the moistening solution provided, or water with 5% of soap. To condition ion meters, nitrate, potassium, calcium, and sodium, we advise using the highest concentration of calibration solution at 2000 ppm, which is provided with each meter. To condition the pH meter, Hariba recommends using the pH 7 buffer, or water with a neutral pH. To perform the electrode conditioning, pour enough liquid to cover the whole sensor area. Make sure that both parts of the electrode are soaked with the solution. Leave this solution on the sensor for at least 10 minutes and up to 2 hours. Then, rinse and dry the sensor. The meter will be ready to be used and will provide the best accuracy. If you want to learn more about Lakwa Twin user tips, we recommend you checking out our calibration tips video. Thank you, and see you soon in another video.